Hello and thank you for visiting WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to continue our fractions module, and this is lesson 5-1-10b. It's the second in our multiplying fractions word problem series. This is the standard featured in this video walkthrough lesson, and we'll be using this worksheet. You can go to WorksheetsAndWalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our fractions video walkthrough lessons. And this is entitled Fractions Module, Lesson 5-1-10b, Multiplying Fractions, Word Problems. Directions. Solve the following fractions word problem. Show your work using the array, area, and mathematical methods. Let's take a look at this problem. We're going to do a close read of this problem. And the first time we read it through, we will read it to get the flow. And the second time through, we're going to tease out the math clues sentence by sentence and determine what our math job or jobs are. Let's get started. During a Sunday eating contest, Lacey ate her dessert in three-fourths of a minute. Colby ate his dessert in two-thirds of the time it took Lacey. What fraction of a minute did it take Colby to finish his frozen treat? Who ate faster? All right, now we'll go sentence by sentence, try to tease out those math clues. First sentence, during a Sunday eating contest, Lacey ate her dessert in three-fourths of a minute. So if you heard three-fourths, and you're thinking that that's a math clue, you would be exactly right, three-fourths of a minute. And that was Lacey. Next sentence, Colby ate his dessert in two-thirds of the time it took Lacey. Once again, you probably heard that fraction. And look, this one is in uh, standard numerical form, and this one up here was in word form. So if you're thinking three-fourths as a fraction, good. You'd be right again. So let's go back to this second sentence. Colby ate his dessert in two-thirds of the time... It took Lacey. Next sentence. What fraction of a minute did it take Colby to finish his frozen treat? That sounds an awful lot like a math job. And like we've seen in many word problems previous to this one, our math job appears as a question at the end of the word problem. That's often what happens. And look at this. We have another one. Who ate faster? So there's our second math job. So we have one and two. Let's get started in solving this. Well, we'll work at the or work on the mathematical method first. Solve it that way. Well, we know we have this first job. What fraction of a minute did it take Colby to finish his frozen treat? And we see up here that it says two thirds of the time it took Lacey. So we're thinking, okay, two-thirds, let's get that pen to work, two-thirds of the time it took Lacey to eat her dessert. So what time, or how much time, I should say, did it take her to finish off the dessert? And we're thinking up here, three-fourths was our clue. So we've got two-thirds of three-fourths. Now, you see this word of, and you might be thinking this too, of often means multiply. So of means multiply. So two-thirds of three-fourths. So it's a fraction of a fraction, sure. So let's write it as a multiplication expression first. So we've got two-thirds times three-fourths. Now it'll be an equation once we put that equal sign in there. Now two-thirds of three-fourths are two-thirds times three-fourths. We can simply multiply our numerators first. So we've got two times three. And you're probably thinking, ah, I know that one. And if you're thinking two times three is six, you'd be perfectly correct. Now we're going to multiply those denominators next. We've got three times four, and three times four is... 12, you're probably thinking that too. Ah, and you can see what's happening here. Hmm, we've seen something like this before in our equivalent fractions lessons. 
whenever you see the numerator is half the denominator, you've got an equivalent fraction. Equivalent to, and if you're thinking this, it's equivalent to 1 half. Excellent. You'd be right. 6 twelfths, in fact, does equal 1 half. Okay. So we've got a mathematical job done here, and we're thinking that Colby ate his dessert in one half of a minute. So let's, let's throw that so one half. Whoop. Let's choose a different pen. Uh, one half of, so let's rewrite it. Let me bounce this down so we actually have some more space here. So we've got one half, so that was Colby ate in one half of a minute. We'll put that in a complete sentence in a little while. We'll leave it like that for now. And now we want to show our work and show a deeper understa understanding of fractions. We'll use the array method next to show that, so that we understand it and we can use a visual fraction model to do that. Let's rewrite that original equation. We've got two-thirds times three fourths equals, well we know what it equals now, but let's show it as an array before we complete that equation. So we've got two thirds and three fourths, and our denominators will tell us how to set up our array. That's right, we're going to use one array for both of these denominators. So we've got three and four. So I'm thinking, and maybe you are too, we'll do three across. You can number those, that might be helpful. One, two, three, so three across, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four down because our next denominator is four. So we've got a three by four array. So let's fill in the rest of that array. I'm moving too quickly for you. Feel free to pause that video and resume it whenever you're ready. Okay, so now we've got this array set up. It's a 3 by 4 array, and you might also be thinking 3 times 4 is 12, and you'd be right too, so good for you. We've got a, an array with 12 parts in it. All right, to represent our new denominator that we'd have in our product that we'd, we'd seen over here, 6 twelfths. So how can we apply these two fractions and insert it into this array? Well, this is what I'm thinking. Let's deal with two-thirds first. So we've got to show two out of every three. And look how this is set up. It's three across. So if you're thinking, okay, there's two out of three. See, that's two out of three, or two-thirds of this row. Awesome. And then we'll move to the next row, two out of three here. Two out of three. Two out of three again, or two-thirds of this one, and two-thirds of the last one. So we've represented two-thirds in this array. Now we want to take a look at the second fraction, or the second factor. Um, now we've got three-fourths. So look again. It's set up perfectly for us. We've got four here. How can we show three out of four? Well, how, how about we try putting x's on there? One, two, three out of four. Can you see that? Three out of the four in this column. We'll keep going with that. 3 out of this 4, and 3 out of this last column. 3 out of 4 of this column. So now, you're probably wondering, hmm, well, yeah, I've applied both of these fractions onto the array, but how do I get my product? Well, if you look, 2 thirds of 3 fourths, and 3 fourths would be this section, and if you did 2 thirds of that, you can see, two-thirds of that would be right there. And how many would it be? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six out of three, six, nine, twelve. So look at that. Look what we have. Six out of twelve. Isn't that what we had over here? All right. Worked out perfectly. Pretty cool. So now, also, you can think six twelfths is equal to one-half. And that would be true too. All right, so if let's let's look at another visual fraction model, and we'll look at the area model, and set that up with uh, rectangular 
Sometimes people call it the rectangular array model. I, I see it as the area inside this rectangle, too. Both views work, so let's apply our fractions to this. All right, so originally, Lacey ate her dessert in three-fourths of a minute. So we're going to take a look at dividing up that rectangular area into fourths. I like to split it down the middle first, get halves, and then split it again, or partition it once again, you'd get four equal parts. And we have to represent um, Lacey's three-fourths of a minute as one, Two fourths. You can see that would be half. But however, she ate it in three fourths of a minute. Now, how are we going to show that Colby ate two th ate it in two thirds of this time? Hmm. Well, if you're thinking that we can partition it once again, see, I've got look, and I've got this denominator represented here as fourths, and I need to represent this denominator here somehow. Well, it's easier to see if you divide it across horizontally. We started vertically. Now let's try partitioning horizontally. We want to show three equal parts going this way. If you'd imagine, imagine that whole being divided into three equal parts, you'd have thirds, right? And when you do that, you can now we can represent this two over here. So Colby ate his dessert in two thirds. There's, if you look at that, that's one third. If you if you imagine that whole, and now this first section up here would be one third of that whole, and then we'll show two thirds because he ate his dessert in only two thirds of the time it took Lacey. So it's just this portion here. It's very similar to this array method, except for. Really, you've got little boxes inside the area, okay, that fill up the area of this rectangle. And we're going to show that here. The parts that are both shaded in in green originally to show Lacey's three fourths and blue then to show two thirds. You can see that it would be one, two, three, four, five, six out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And look at that. Once again, we have 6 twelfths. And again, that is equal to 1 half. Anytime that numerator is half the denominator, you've got an equivalent fraction that equals 1 half. You could show that mathematically, too. We might as well do that while we're looking at this. We could think of 6 divided by what equals 1. Well, 6 divided by itself would equal 1. little division identity going on there. And 12 divided by something equals 2. Well, look at that. What you do to that numerator, you should do to the denominator when you're working with equivalent fractions. See that? So we've got 6 twelfths equals 1 half. Now, let's look at our math jobs. What fraction of a minute did it take Colby to finish his frozen treat? That would be job number one. And then we have to determine who ate faster. That would be job number two. So here we go. Number one. What fraction of a minute did it take Colby to finish his frozen treat? And that would be right here. One half. We've shown it here. One half and one half of a minute here. Also there, look at that. It all matches up together. Now we've got Colby. Colby. Clear that up. Colby ate his treat. We could take it right there, or you could write dessert, D E S S E R T, in one half of a minute. There we go. That's job number one. And job number two, who ate faster? Well, if you take a look at both of those, we've got Lacey ate it in two-thirds of a minute, and Colby ate his in one-half of a minute. So who ate faster? Well, let's see. Colby, one-half, and Lacey, three-fourths. And you might be thinking, ah, one-half is less than three-fourths. I hope 
you're thinking that so one half is less than three fourths. You can see that right down here. Um, one half would be six out of twelve, and three fourths would be three six nine out of twelve. So yeah, definitely, one half is less than three fourths. So who ate faster? Well, Colby ate his in less time, so Colby ate faster. And there we go. We've solved both math jobs. We've multiplied a fraction by a fraction and shown it in three different ways. So, And not only did we do that, we showed numbers in our mathematical model. We showed pictures in our visual fraction models, the array method and the area model. And we used words up there to, to show a complete understanding of this problem. Thanks for checking out worksheets and walkthroughs.com. We'll see you again next time.